with a bit of knowledge about the helmet. I can tell you that uh, should Claudia Lush not complete the run, which she thought was pretty tough this morning. Mentioned to our reporter Stephen Jameson off it. Should she not complete the run, Stephanie Victor will indeed be the victor. So, Loesch, it is to add some more points. Won both of the giant slaloms in Kutai. She will, but she doesn't have to, but she will push herself all the way down here. But she can certainly use the gap that she had this morning to take victory with a steady run. But that's not in... Claudia Loesch's makeup. 2.38.21 is the time she needs to be inside. Here comes the split time, of which she's looking to be roughly 10 seconds clear of. Should she go through it? 9.45. All right, Loesch. Maneuvering neatly. No real dramas in this run from Loesch. And that 238-21, very achievable by the great Austrian. And the 29-year-old into the final two gates. It's going to be Loesch for a third time in succession in the women's sitting giant slalom competitions. And there's a smile. And, uh, well, she goes and greets Stephanie Victor. But it's Loesch, Victor and Pentagast that will have the podium positions. Unlucky for Linda Van Impelen, dropping out a quarter of the way down the course. But it is Claudia Loesch that takes this on day one here in Kranskagora. OK, let's go over to uh, Stephen Jameson. He's going to interview... Claudia Loesch. I'm with Claudia now. Claudia, how is that for you this afternoon? Yeah, it was still difficult. I mean, it was a bit better than the first one, especially the upper part. But that lower part, it's still bumpy like hell. And I'm just glad I finished. And yeah, my performance, especially given the, the tough circumstances, I think was okay. Now, when we spoke to you in Zagreb, you mentioned how, how the course was challenging there. Obviously, this course presents its own different challenges. This must be really good preparation for the Paralympics when you think about the variety of different courses and challenges that you're having to face. Uh, yeah, I mean, I sure hope that the conditions at the Paralympics will be better because, um, well, in terms of promoting our sport, it would be lovely to have a nicer slope because then we, we obviously look better. <laughs> But, yeah, you're right, but preparing for the Paralympics, I mean, anything can happen there. It can snow, it can rain, whatever. So, yeah, we'll see. And does this fill you with a bit more confidence heading in tomorrow? Same slope, same challenge? Yeah, definitely. Um, now I know that it's okay to ski and that tomorrow I can attack a little more. We look forward to seeing it. Congratulations. Thank you.